Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. Today I'm gonna play Skyrim using a voice command program. Just by saying certain words out loud, I can make my character do any of the commands to play the game, and my goal is to beat the entire first dungeon of Skyrim using only my voice. Let me clarify something. In some of the other voice command challenges that I've done, the challenge itself has been very simple, right? Mario slides, you're just going down a slide and doing left and right, basically. There is a lot more going on in Skyrim. You have all of the directions, you have multiple ways of attack. So this is a, a lot harder than Mario, but that's okay because I'm the Dragonborn and we just have to decide the names for each command. Okay, left click and right click. These are gonna be like my bread and butter things. I'm pressing all the freaking time, right? Click and clack. How about clickety clackety? Interacting will be FBI open up. Okay, save. What is relevant to Skyrim? It just works. <laughs> I can do it, it just works. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works. It just works. Not, it, it just works. It just works. Be right back. Uh, all right, we're ready. Let's do this. These are our commands. Up, down, left, and right will move me around. Look up, look down, look left, and look right. We'll look around. We've also got run as sonic speed. To jump, I say boing. Left click is clickety. Right click is clackety. Interact is FBI open up. Crouch is teabag. Inventory is backpack, backpack, and save is it just works. Let's quickly test this. Forward. Look up. Look down. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> How does she actually say it in the show? Backpack, backpack. All right, I'll try to hit that inflection. Backpack, backpack. Incredible. Literally, it just works. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about to beat some Bleak Falls Barrow. So now, I must make a brand new character, get through the intro, get to Bleak Falls Barrow, and beat the final boss at the end of the dungeon. And I just have to decide if I'll play as a cat. Should I use flames and healing or just my kitty claws? Should I be a cat or should I be someone else? So hear me out, hear me out. I'm leaning towards Argonian because they have a superpower that you can use once a day to heal yourself. And during the final battle, having like a super saiyan mode that I can trigger randomly in the middle of the battle without needing to switch over to healing could be really clutch. And then I could play really loud music like this. All right. The dragon's live. I'm escaping. Here we go. Sonic speed. Right. Right. <laughs> Look right. 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 Hi, Ulfric. <laughs> I like that I'm just kind of peeking my way in. Forward. Forward. Left. Left? Where am I? Look left. <laughs> this is... This is not a good view. Left. Okay, look down. Can you just run there? I just have to be fast enough. Sonic speed. Oh! Left. Look left. Look left. Look right. Look right. Man, I did not realize how much you move the mouse in this game. I think I gotta make it stronger, right? It should be like 45 degree turn. Okay, now it'll move a lot. Look left. Forward. Forward. We're in Helgen Keep. That was pretty badass. Now there's gonna actually be fighting though, which could be tough. I've gotta pick up this guy's gear, and then I think from that point forward I can just use claws. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. Oh my god. No, no, no. Forward. Stop. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down. FBI, open up. It's a power move on a dead man. Oh, and then I have to say it again to take every item. FBI, open up. FBI, open up. FBI, open up. Now I need to actually equip this stuff. Down. Look down? Okay, okay. I really got to intimidate these boots. FBI, open up! How do I leave? Backpack, backpack. Next step, get through the entirety of Helgen Keep. I think I can mostly run through here and let Rayloth do most of the fighting for me. The downside is that I do have something turned on where the invincible NPCs can die. Here we go. Look left. Forward. Right. Forward. Okay, we're stuck on a door. Look left. Sonic speed. Right. Why are there- there's so many little beams! Did they not anticipate somebody running in a single direction for multiple seconds at a time? Forward. Look right. Look right. Forward. Who put the po- who put the lamp here? Boing. Okay. Look right. Right. 
I'm actually stuck. Sonic speed. All right, stream's over, guys. Forward, boing. Forward, boing. Look right. Oh, Raylof's fighting the Imperials. This is another intense battle. Look right. All right, they're all dead, I guess. And I helped. Okay, we need a new command that's gonna allow me to jump and move forward at the same time so that I can finally escape the final boss of the lamp. It just jumps. <laughs> okay, jumping forward is going to be, it just jumps. This is classic programming philosophy. You don't fix the stuff that's there. You just add more and more shit around it. And then you make a rickety castle that you ride all the way to the bank. Can we defeat the final boss with this? Look left. Look left. It just jumps. Oh, yes! Are we out? Ah, shit! Look right. Look right. It just jumps. Forward. Forward. All right, hold on, Rayloff. You're moving too fast. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to miss out on all the action again. Hold on, Rayloff. I'm coming. Look right. Look right. I'll save you. Forward. Look right. Left. Uh, okay, they're all dead. And I helped. Maybe while we're here, we equip our lizard boy with some proper, like, spells and stuff. This is the anime Super Saiyan move that I'll use during the final boss battle, which will let me heal a whole bunch. So now that's actually equipped. Should I try using fire spells or just go with my, my hands and or a weapon? Fire could be pretty good. I could do weapon and fire. It will just works no matter what. I like where your head's at. Our actions have zero consequence. It's all predetermined to just works. Clickety. Axe on the right, clackety. I don't know, dude. I think this is pretty badass. I would really like to do some damage to someone. That's not asking for that much. Here we go. There's guys coming up here. All I want to do is inflict any amount of damage on anyone. Sonic speed. Right. Look right. Shit. Look right. Look right. Oh, there's a lot of them. Clackety. Yes! No! Clickety! Oh, I hit Rayloff! Look left! Okay, they're over there now. It just jumps. Ah, oh, damn it. Super so er, Sonic speed. It just jumps. Forward. Right. Look right. Are they all dead? Look right. <clears throat> Another successful battle. And after only two hours of helping Rayloff, I... I still haven't learned how to fight, like, at all, but I'm way better at movement now. And now that we're out of Helgen Keep, I can start training with some real enemies. All right, it's daytime. We've gotten through Helgen Keep. There's an exciting world of possibilities. That dungeon over there in the distance is where we gotta go. I'm sprinting the whole way. Sonic speed! <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Look down. Yeah, we'll be fine. Sonic speed. Look right. Look right. That was farther than I thought. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in fucking Riverwood. All right, I have two proposals. Am I allowed to have a follower? That is a big, big question based on how things have gone so far. If I get a follower, the follower can die, which you could argue is fair because that way, if I go in and don't help them at all, they're probably just gonna get killed, but it would be a huge, huge help. What are your thoughts? Based on everybody's input, we are agreeing that I am allowed to have a follower, Fondle. However, he can die, so he's not invincible, so if I put him into a bad situation, he will just die. And I am setting this additional restriction is that I will personally, personally, murder him before the final boss. Final boss has got to be all me. So Fondle will die. It's just a question of whether it's by my hand or not. Look right. FBI open up. I got to time this. FBI open up. No, no, no. Look at me. Look left. Oh my God. We have to just follow Fondle around to be able to talk to him. This is a nightmare. Forward. It just jumps. No, no, no. That was too far. Look right. No, don't leave. Forward. I'm going to kill him so hard later. FBI open up. No, I had it. FBI, open up. Oh! I think so far the hardest boss has definitely been the lamp, but talking to Fondle as he waltzes about the lumber mill is definitely the second hardest. Now that we've got Fondle, we just have to run to Bleak Falls Barrel. Here we go. Forward. Look right. Forward. Look right. Forward. There's bandits right up here. 
Sonic speed. Look left. Forward. Stop. Right. Clackety. Uh, okay, I missed. Oh, oh, clackety. Clickety. Look right. Clickety. Stop moving. Look left. Clickety. Fondle, help me. Clickety. Clickety. Well, the good news is that this would have been absolutely fucking impossible without Fondle. This challenge is maybe possible with Fondle. Oh, here's what, here's what we do, here's what we do. Instead of me trying to be a competent Skyrim player and actually hit things, what if I just move around and dodge the attacks and let Fandle pick them off? Because if he just fondles them with his arrows from a distance while I kind of run them in circles, might just pull this off. Right, right, see, she can't catch me. Left, back. Back. Just try to keep up, bandit. Okay, this isn't working. Back. Left. Oh, we got one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. What if both of my hands are healing and I let Fondle do all of the attacking? I will start healing myself during the battles while Fondle picks them off with a bow. It's stupid. I'm just stupid enough to work. All right, let's do this dance. Sonic speed. Look left. Clickety. Clickety. Clackety. See? And now I just sit here like a tank. And Fondle just picked him up. Look left. Wait, look right. Clickety. This is working perfectly. Clackety. Ooh. Clackety. Or no, no, no. Clickety. God damn it. Clickety. Oh, I had it. I could have clickety dirt. Oh, well, Fondle got it. And I helped. I got a hit off. I actually got a hit off. And I successfully distracted everybody and took all the damage. It just works. Don't stand Fondle just because he had one good battle. We have no idea what he's going to pull off later in the dungeon. He's doing almost all the work. Respect him. Exactly. It's suspicious. He's been incredible the whole time. I don't trust that for an instant. Forward. <sighs> well, Bleak Falls Barrow. FBI, open up! The plan, I run through, I heal myself by saying clackety, and Fondle does all the damage. Sonic speed. Sonic speed. Clickety. Oh! Look left. Oh, no, no, no. Clickety. Why do they move so much? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Oh, oh. good job, Fondle. Look right. Look down. And I helped. Shockingly, this new strategy of me running around like a chicken healing while Fondle attacks from a distance seems to be the perfect blend of durability and damage. And before we venture further in, let us say a prayer to the Honorable Todd Howard. May our trip through the dungeon just works. Please give us works through this dungeon, Todd Howard. And again, it just works. Game time. Sonic speed. Right. Forward. Left. This is how everybody uses staircases. Big boss battle here. This is the spider boss. This is gonna be huge. Clickety. Clickety. Forward. Clickety. 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 Oh god. Clackety. Alright, I'll heal Fondle. Forward. That is pain- that guy is painful. Or... Was Fondle shooting me again? You got shot in the shoulder? Motherfucker. Review the footage, does anybody have a clip? I swear to Todd, if Fondle shot me again, I'll murder him right now. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep fighting. All right, I'm just gonna heal. Clackety. Clackety. Fondle, take him down. Clackety. Clackety. Fondle, hurry up. Clackety. Clackety. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so close. Whoa! Look left. So that was sick. That was real good by Fondle. The question is, what did he do the previous time? Okay, I'm at half health. And I take a big hit here. Health is going down slowly. Arrow is in the spider. Oh! Okay, to be fair to Fondle, I was already dead. I die, and then Fondle sees his opportunity. 
shoots me in the chest. So he didn't technically kill me. He just has had his way with my dead body. God, I hate Fondle. Mercy killing. It's not a mercy killing if I'm dead. That's just a killing killing. God, he just gets in there fondles me when I'm not looking. So tank strategy works. I sit there, I heal myself, fondle does all the damage, it just works. Todd did bless us with a bountiful spider harvest. All right, now we let him come to me. I'm standing right here and tanking it. Clickety. I can take it. Clackety. Oh, let's go. I'm right here. I'm right here. I can take it. Shoot them, fondle, fondle. And I helped. And I just leveled up, which means at some point during a battle, I can heal myself fully. Dope. Time for you guys to watch a pro in action. Sonic speed. Look right. Look right. Fondle did not make it. Are you gonna hit me when I'm dead, huh, Fondle? Clackety! 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 Yeah, I have to tell him to wait. Oh, god damn it. FBI open up. FBI open up. You go on ahead. Okay. FBI open up. FBI, open up. Forward. D stop. As much as I hate Fondle's guts, we do make a hell of a team. Clickety. 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 Fondle! Clackety! Yes! Oh my god! Fondle, you son of a bitch. Look left. Sometimes I can't help but love the guy. To death. We've gotten through the intro. We've gotten through Helgen Keep. We've gotten to Bleak Falls Barrow. We've got through the first half of Bleak Falls Barrow. We're speeding up. Fondle and I have got chemistry. We're both in a murderous mood. Let's do this thing. Forward. Right. Forward. Right. Look left. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to have him stand here. FBI, open up. You go on ahead. Cool. Have him wait here. I need to get through these swinging knives, turn around, pull the hatch so that the knives stop swinging. I get back in there, I get fondle my boy, and then I tank it all while he clears it out. Sonic speed. Stop. Look left. Look left. No! Look right. Look right. Look right. What? Fond fondle? Jesus, I gave you one task. What are you doing, buddy? I told- I explicitly told you to stay there. Forward, back, back, back. Look right. Fondle, why, why, why is Fondle going in? I just heard him die. He aggroes when the casket guy spawns. Oh my God. I have to make him wait like way behind the enemies. So then I'm going to be on my own. Fondle has all the characteristics of an intrepid explorer, sans the skill, charisma, and plot armor. True. I got to run through, stop the axes from swinging, run back and get to Fondle. Sonic speed. Stop, look right. 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 FBI open up. Forward. Sonic speed. Sonic speed. Look right. Look right. Clickety. Right. Now fondle. Now. <gasps> Look right. Oh, my hero. I don't know, man. I... Fondle and I, we're like an angry couple. We fight and we argue and we try to murder each other, but uh, the sex is so damn good. It just works. This is it, the final anime battle. I still have my anime superpower lizard power that I can use to heal myself a whole bunch and I have a level up. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna tank the fuck out of this Draugr. All we have to do is kill him, take his item and get out of here. Forward, left, look left. I'm going to stand here so Fondle has full range. Clickety. Le look left. Let's go, Fondle. Clackety. Uh-oh, this guy's hard. Forward. Look right. Look right. Look right. Okay, Fondle's dead. Clackety. Clackety. Super Saiyan. This one's for Fondle. Clackety. Clackety. Look left. Clickety. Clackety. Clackety. Backpack, backpack. No! Ah! Uh, shit! You clackadied when you should have clickadied. Do flames and healing. That could be good. It's hard for me to get damage if the guy's a little bit farther away, so I do think we swap out the axe with the flames now. So I'm losing healing potential with this, but I'm getting firepower. And then I'll use my Saiyan move for healing to compensate. Between flames and Super Saiyan and Fondle dying, we just might pull this off. 
I get the word of power. I turn. I go in and do damage while Fondle nobly sacrifices himself. And nobody wants that, right? Nobody wants Fondle to die. But, you know, he he's wanted this his whole life. And I can't take that away from him. And then once he's dead, I'll start really giving it to the enemy. I'll use the level up and the healing once I start to die. And then we beat the first dungeon of Skyrim with voice commands. Clackety! Clackety! Oh, shit. Look right. Look down. Clackety! Why are you using a bow now? Clackety! Oh, sorry, Fondle. You might get some friendly fire. Clackety! Oh, you killed Fondle! This one's for Fondle! Clackety! Super Saiyan! Clackety! Clackety! I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Backpack, backpack. I need, the, I need the level up. Wait, no, no, no. I can use items. FBI, open up. FBI, open up. That gives me enough mana to avenge Fondle right now. Clackety! I need more mana. I need more mana. Clackety! I need mana! Clackety! Oh my god. My Super Saiyan's done. Clackety. Clackety. And I helped. Forward. Stop. FBI, open up. That's the Dragonstone. FBI, open up. The Draugr boss was finally defeated, and the Dragonstone's in my possession, all thanks to the unstoppable tank and spank battle strategies that Fondle and I learned together. The only thing left to do is honor my fallen friend. Look up. Couldn't have done it without you. You son of a bitch. I'll give him a proper Viking funeral. Clackety. 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 Forward. Stop. And any good Viking funeral? Teabag. 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 Teabag.